I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania today, and I'm going to check out the Intel Labs, where they're working on new technologies and innovations in collaboration with Carnegie Mellon and Pittsburgh universities. I'm here with Dimitri, who is working on his PhD in robotics, correct? Yeah. And you're working on this guy back here, and his name is Herb. What does that stand for? It stands for Home Exploring Robotic Butler. Everybody really has this interest in making assistance for the home, for elderly or disabled people. And so Herb is kind of a step in that direction. One focus is motion planning, which is how do we move this arm in a safe and fast way so that we can complete these tasks. To make a robot that's unsafe is pretty easy. Um, you just kind of let the robot do whatever it wants. It's really the constraints of safety, the constraints of performance, a task a certain way that make the problem difficult. Can you take me through exactly what he does and the step-by-step -step process? So the first thing that Herb does is he looks at the environment and he tries to figure out what are the objects that he knows about in the environment. The other thing he's doing is he's computing uh, obstacle grid, meaning he wants to know what parts of the environment are occupied and what parts are free for him to move. In. The way he determines that is to use this spinning laser scanner over here, which basically sweeps a beam in a circle pattern, and this beam bounces off of obstacles in the environment and comes back, and so he's able to figure out the distance from any point on an obstacle to uh, the robot itself. Please give me your antibody. 